Yo. Josh. Hello? What's up, bro? Yo. Yo, Brad, hey, this... quick question. Before you say anything, did you know there's a Mongolian grill on Maple Ridge? And that's actually what I was going to say. Oh my god, really? It's way better. Did you get the hot Here, teriyaki? <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't even gone there yet. Oh, bro. <laughs> I was talking I was to my buddy. say that. Dude, I was talking to my friend Noah. He works on the same job site as me. Well, actually, he works technically. Well, he works for me, but for the same company. I don't pay him. The company does. Anyways, we're just I'm just shooting this shit, right? Just talking about, you know, food, this and that. And I'm like, oh, fuck, Mongolian Grill, Boko, Shaughnessy, you gotta hit it up, blah, blah, blah. He goes, that place is garbage compared to the one in Maple Ridge. I'm like, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, he's like, dude, don't ever go there again. He's like, you're gonna go to Maple Ridge from now on. And I'm like, well, fuck. I'm like, that's a pretty substantial good distance, right? Like, go from Poco to Ridge. It, you know? I like the story, because my mom said this word for word, same shit, like, years ago. And I was like, nah, you're fucked. Yeah, like, that's it, dude. When he but said that, anyways, like, oh, she, awesome. The day we went tubing, we went and got it, I'm pretty sure. And uh, long story short, it was uh, fire as fuck. Yeah. And pretty much my mom convinced us to go to the Maple Ridge one instead of the Polka one because we were tubing in Maple Ridge. Oh, okay, I gotcha. And so when we tried it, basically, yeah, it was way, 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 Fucking way fire, better. Man. Yeah, so way better. much better. Yeah. But it was more, it was way more expensive though. It was like, it was $18 more. Yeah, no, it was $18 more, yeah, no, $3. It was $18 more dollars for both of our meals. We it came to like $45 versus like, whoa. Uh, like, only like usually it's like 28 yeah no so, you for for me and you know what I mean? there, it's, it's 34 dollars yeah exactly. i get two small bowls and one large so bucks. for the price i mean if you're looking for like a it's more of like a expensive meal rather than like a quick mongolian together yeah. slap it in and go like this yeah. is like a Josh, sit, up. sit down and really enjoy it yeah no doubt no doubt fuck yeah ready up squirrel boy joshua you better ready the fuck up <laughs> hey, buddy, why don't you say hi? How are you? Well, good afternoon, fuck. <laughs> Josh? Too cool. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's going to say something when it matters, you know what I mean? He's yeah, going to be like exactly. a like a like, you know, don't, <laughs> I don't really have much to say. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, so Brad, get this. What's up? So had an adventurous day today. I woke up in the morning. I decided that I was gonna just have a nice day. So went for a nice drive. Smoked up hard. Like smoked like four fucking bats. I went all the way up around Anmore. Went like Belcara. Tried to go to Bunsen Lake, but it was closed off. And then uh, looped back, back around and went down Pipeline actually. And then I went to the store that's near your house. I think it's Nestor or some shit. Yeah, Nestor Convenience. Can't really remember. Yeah, yeah, Nestor came. I went there. I was gonna message you, but then just because of the way I was rolling, I had, you know, I had to turn it down a one wheel pop by, and I like took a good fucking look to see if it was you, but it wasn't. I was up, and I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm like, watch your mouth. <laughs> I'm like, I got a buddy down the street who's got two of these things ready to fucking go. And I had then, oh, three he, of them. I had three yeah, of them oh up until oh. yesterday, for like a Fuck. for like three four months. I've been telling you. Me and Mason and you should go for a ride and I just gave my stepbrother well I'm not even gonna call him my stepbrother now, he's a little fucking punk goof. But oh, no. Fred, I gave Freddy his board back because he's a little bitch. Tried to help him out and he just like was such a little girl about everything. Yeah, you know what, you gotta he'll he'll come back and say sorry. You know what's funny he dude? He did last say night, sorry, Bailey. but still, it's like, what a little goof. <laughs> did I tell you about Bailey last night? No. He FaceTimed me at like fucking like, I don't know, you know, like 11.30 midnight. Like, I think it was when we were all playing and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't tell you last night. Are you sure? No. no. Dude, he FaceTimes me. He's at some like fucking like beer garden pub thing in Chilliwack. And then Jackie and Jason, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 you told me. Yeah, I, I yeah. remember. I, I wasn't Dude. thinking about Bailey, though. I was thinking about... They were messaging me. Them, Yeah, oh, yeah. So then I swapped I swapped numbers with uh, Jackie's boyfriend, Jason, or whatever. And fucking, dude, they were both messaging me up until, like, 2 a.m. to come down. Like, Uber, cab, I'll pay for it. I'm like, bro, I'm like, even if I wanted to Uber or cab, I'm like, Uber would be, like, 180 bucks. Cab would be, like, 220. And, no. <laughs> By the time I get there, what I'm going to say, hey, how are you? Time to go? <laughs> Just start a big riot. Yeah, and then J uh, Jason's like, oh, well, that's, like, that's all I need matters. And I'm like, well, fuck, why don't you come down to my place? And then he was literally contemplating coming. Uh-oh. I'm good. Actually, I got a blue chunk. 
I'm listening though. Keep me on. Sorry, no, I was just yeah, spooked I'm, for one I'm second. Right I was so fucking scared right there. This guy grabbed a shotgun and on our team and then buddy beside him landed and he had uh, this gun that he's capping him with right now. Holy shit, bro. What is going on? I'm scared. Dude, my controller is so... Mason fucked my controller so bad today, dude. I'm not even kidding. Why? Wow. He just breaks people's controllers and shit? Oh, dude, he breaks his own controllers. He breaks everyone's I controllers. I know, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not gonna say... No, I'm not gonna say he breaks everyone's controllers, but he's got... I've, I've gathered up a profile to, like, you know, confidently say that he's rough on his controllers. Yeah. You know, like, from his Nintendo Switch, I've had to replace, like, four sets. And it's always his left side that's always the one that he, like, fucking goes hard on. And then weird. Maybe he Xbox. just grabs it hard. Yeah, bro, listen to this. I buy him an Xbox One, two brand new fucking controllers. You know how it has like the it's 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 kind of bunk. I don't like Xbox for this, but you know how you have to put batteries in your controller? And you get like, you know, the little faceplate that covers the batteries? Yeah. Mason lost those faceplates for the batteries the first week he had it, and dude, I'm telling you right now, they fucking disappear. Okay? <laughs> Nowhere to be I don't even know what happens. It's just gone right the right right there above you. And then he ends up breaking one. He rips off the fucking grip off the fucking analog, right? And then obviously, so that means now the controller's fucked. And then he... Yeah, yeah he's hard on controllers. I mean, like, like, hey, like, he had my controller in his hand, and I see him whip it across the fucking living room. Like, mind you, it didn't hit the floor, but it hit the couch, bounced off the wall, landed in the fucking blanket pile. And, like, just, I'm just like, Mace, like, you know, bro, like, fuck, these are, things are like a hundred bucks pop, you know what I mean? Like, fuck. <laughs> Fucking cheap. Yeah. So then I bring the game chair into the living room. I'm sitting in front. Of, now I'm sitting in front of the TV, and I go to aim, and it's like as soon as I go to aim, my shit fucks off to the left. So I gotta like counterbalance it. Fuck! I'm just choked. Hopefully this round, I, I literally just like mashed my shit right now. So hopefully it's like you know all good now. <laughs> Girlfriend's crazy. She's trying to order this, like, go to the revolving restaurant. Oh yeah, that place to... is nice. But it's a fifty dollar reservation. We don't. Don't show make up. a reservation. Don't do that. Don't make a reservation. He says. Just go there. Just go there. Let's just it, show it up. It won't be. It, when are you guys gonna On go? On a Middle. Saturday night, though. On a Saturday night. E See the thing is with Saturdays or weekends it's, is that there's a, there's the potential way, way chance, bro. No, dude, we went we went on a Friday night. I made reservations. I went up there, dude. There was like four people up there. You know the yeah. thing is with the revolving restaurant is that it's been there for so long and that there's it, so it much. It has been there forever. Yeah, but there's a lot more in the city to like put it this way. If, if if I if I was a tourist in the city, the revolving restaurant would probably be like the last on my list compared to like all like. <laughs> Compared to like all the rooftop patios and all like the crazy fucking experiences, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like the revolving restaurant, it's cool because it, it fucking, it, 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 it's a circular motion little restaurant, it's cool. Like when I went there, for, like when I asked her to marry me, yeah, I, I brought Asher on, on a Friday when I asked her to marry me. And uh, buddy, like we just drank instead of ate, like the, the menu was garbage, it fucking sucked. I ended I up know, getting, I've, we, I've we been craving like, ribs recently though, and they have ribs. Oh. Oh, they got ribs? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, fuck. Well, last time I went, they had, like, fucking, like, chicken skewers and, like, mushroom. I, I, this is what I got for did. We, we went up there thinking it'd be, like, Where are we going, know, by the tits. way? Tilted? Yeah, it's both. We went there thinking it'd be tits. And look at the menu. We were both like, what the fuck? In my head, I'm like, oh, I'll get the mushroom truffle, right? Because that looked fucking kills. It was, like, a pasta mushroom, whatever. It was nuts. But it was way overpowering on the mushroom side. Yeah. Anyways. Angela got like this like squash fucking spaghetti thing. We got like these chicken skewers. But dude, we ended up spending like 450 bucks on booze because they had the sickest cocktail fucking menu. Like just killer drinks. So we just got, we basically got, we didn't get wasted, but we got pretty fucking buzzed. Had a bite. Yeah, anyways, got back in the limo, went around Stanley Park. Should have got question. wasted for 450 bucks. <laughs> well, honestly, dude, honestly, man, that's that's exactly that's my attitude when I when I go to places. That's my attitude every time. When I go to places, I'm like, I want to see you pour the shot in the glass from the bottle, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I mean? like, don't make me drink and then bring it over here. Yeah, yeah, my shit. I don't even it drink, but I feel the same way. Why 
would someone fucking make your shit like not in front of you? And we too. seen we found a lost puppy and it literally was Aww. limping like it got hit by a car and we tried to look up like what you do in the moment you find a lost puppy like call SPCA they're closed yeah. I'm like holy shit I was like ready to pick this dog up and take it home it was so cute yeah you, you, you it was know what limping you're supposed to do? It's what? Yeah, if, listen, in, in the future, if you ever find an animal that's yeah. abandoned or, like, you know, clearly comes to you for help or it's whatever the case may be, yeah. you have to bring it to a 24-hour animal hospital. Okay, well, yeah. that, 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 that would be, call? where's the 24-hour yeah. animal hospital? The closest yeah, one, I think, uh, in Coco, I'm pretty sure it's in Meadows where they moved to Maple Ridge. I know, like, 10 okay. years ago, they moved to Maple Ridge. Yeah. On us, too? Behind me? Yeah. On my back? But yo, but what you do, what you do, you go to the hospital, you go to the hospital, you show up. That can't find it. She can't find any of them. She just died in a 24 hour fucking, uh... 24 hour animal hospital. Get up. But yo, it was actually pretty, like, spooky, because this dog, like, seemed like it was hit by a car. Aww. He was, like, walking on the bike, and then, uh, these, like, people... Like came around the corner and we're like, like clearly looking for something. So I was like, uh, and like yeah, that's my dog. Yeah, I'm like, huh. what are the odds? Like, we're literally just looking like calling the cops. But it was like, dude, it was such a small little puppy. Dude, I was like, like, put you like, what the fuck is the matter? I would have lost my shit. I was man. gonna. I was gonna fuck that right. You should have. She's like, we left the fuck gate fuck. open, and I'm like, don't fucking do that no. again. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Turn up if you have a puppy, and you're like mobile, and you don't really do, like, you know, like, let's just say you can't attend to the dog, like, 24-7. You can put these, and you can buy them, it's 150 bucks. I bought them for when Bailey was a puppy, but we got rid of them when she became months, yeah. so she was smart enough to fuck around. But you go and get, comes with six poles and a fucking thing you put on the collar, and it goes like a bit more by the feet, like a pole. sitting there, I'm like, wow. It like was licking our hand, laying on the concrete, cuddling up the sap. Just like sat Aww. there, it was so cute. And then, uh, yeah, the owners came around the corner and were like, I know I didn't like the owners either, I wanted to go like, punch them in the road, but at least it, it was their job, they can deal with it. It's not her, it wasn't her.
bitch. Oh man, honestly, man. Connection goofy looking at it. <laughs> yeah, the Imperial. That's literally the cheapest fucking that, that you'll yeah. never hear you'll never hear a thousand bucks a month on a truck like this in your life. I know because even Ryan's paying two grand a month. I think it's the same truck. Or not the it's, same. It's but not the same. It's, it's got not all the, the same. Whistles, but it's the it's same, the like, same at all. price range. <laughs> it's, a it's the same truck, price don't get me wrong. range. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, for this for a different price. This truck is they, like you can look online, dude, with the kilometers. Like they're actually lowballing a bit. Online, they're asking for like 120, 125 k for this fucking thing. Damn, in Poco there was a car show today, and uh, there was like, not that I liked it, but it was like a, the, honestly the weakest truck there, a Ford F650, and it oh, was yeah. actually beefy. It had like two, it had Flat three deck. doors. to move the vehicle is way too much. Oh fuck. Dude, honestly, I've seen some fucking, some pretty cool, like, when I, I went to Kamloops, like, I get crazy cash. Dude, they had a fucking same thing, it was, it was like, it, I don't even know what the fuck numbers were on there. It could have been an F8. Like, you know, so, sometimes when, when you get custom with your trucks, you don't want to do that. It sense, right? But anyways, same thing, the thing had all together six points. A fucking beast, man. <laughs> Probably the same type of truck. Or can just like fucking like what's up, man? Like like fuck off. 
it's PlayStation 4? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking snap. It's not, it's not like too bad, but it's like... When I want to aim, I want to aim, and it jerks actually... around and like... I knew anyone that needed one, he would sell it for like a decent price, it was brand yeah, new in the box. Yeah, cheap, yeah, there you go. I'll ask him. I'm not, I'm not buying another fucking PlayStation 4 controller. Fuck that. Be doing challenges and shit. Where the fuck is he? on there.
squad on us again. Oh, got rid of the two. It's a new squad. One of my good buddies is on his way right now and he's gonna pop all you guys up. Brad light it up. And move. Some pierogi pizza? Shit. What's up? Um, yeah. <laughs> pierogi pizza? Yeah. That's gangster. Oh yeah, for me and Ed, what's up? Um, I used to get that, and then I figured out that you can get combos on oh, your own, and it's like the same price. Not that I get more than four toppings, but like if you do, then there's no additional costs. Brad, I would get the pierogi pizza as a base starter pack, and then I would yeah. add and then you sausage, can, cheese, exactly. fucking, oh my god. But you just gotta load it up and you have to say it individually. You yeah. can't say I want the bacon cheese one. But no, can I know. You, you, you could, but, tell but you gotta straight up tell them each ingredient. You yeah, want listen it. here, fucko. I know how hard your <laughs> job is, so. Yeah. Yeah, check it out online. They got some serious menu options. I remember for Mason's birthday when he was turning four. The fucking, we put an order for 15 pizzas from uh, from this local place uh, on Austin. And they called us and said that they couldn't help us out. Whatever the fucking case was, they were short on something. So obviously I can pay a few phone calls. Called Pizza Hut, I'm like, I need to talk to your manager. I'm like, listen boss, I'm like, this fuck, big man stay here. I can eat 15 pizzas. I'm like, I don't give a fuck what you put on them, but they better be good. And then uh, I'm like, budget's 300 bucks. Dude, I'm gonna eat it. He's like, okay. Address, blah, blah, blah. Like, didn't even have to ask him question. Instead of like, yeah, didn't even need to send one to the rest stop. I need him to be killed. I'm like, I'm like, separate him. Like, you can do two of each of whatever the fuck you want. And then uh, he's like, okay, boss, blah, blah, blah. And then fuck, obviously shows up himself. Like, uh, you yeah, know, like, boss, basically shaking my hand. Oh, yeah. He's like, let me know what you think, right? Buddy, I swear to God, every pizza on there was like an off the menu fucking item. It was like the killerest pizza I've ever had. Obviously, that yeah, guy didn't, I don't know, he's not there anymore, but fuck me if he was. Shit. You live in I a dream. For some reason, when you said like the guy himself delivered it, it reminded me of this guy. And I'm like super picky, like Mason, and I got a burger. And I vividly remember it was just a double bacon cheeseburger. I wanted it with no sauce on it. And it was just covered in sauce. My mom drove it from our house on my lunch break. Yeah. Which, like, I didn't even have a lunch break. I just, like, so I was co her when I was, like, maybe, like, 14 or something. I was so young. They, he, they brought, my mom called the store and said, like, listen up. Like, I asked for you to triple make sure, like, this is proper. Personally showed up and delivered me double what I ordered. Like, the whole meal, but exactly double it. And plus what we had. He said, if you have any co-workers that will eat it, go ahead. So that was pretty right. cool. Just like the way he dealt with it. fast like delivered it in his personal car like he was he was there in like 20 minutes the food was like better than ever like somehow it was like beyond how if you ever order food from white spot it's sometimes like 
half ass, but that fresh every single thing. Look at this, Josh. It's like, you guys are As I'm talking to him, like I noticed this other kid and he's like freaking out. And I seen a few other people that looked like they had been drugs. And uh, he was like acting like super, super weird. And like he had like no shirt on and he was like punching a tree. He was like on the phone saying, like, I'm gonna just kill myself. Like, you're my best friend. Nah, nah, nah. And like I'm mid, mid conversation, I'm with this other guy who I always see. It's really, yeah, it's, it's really cool. crazy, just like. Oh, it's fucked up too, cause like we'd have a smoke and chill yeah, and yeah. talk and like, yeah, I know. It's Sad. just you know what? Honestly, the out of all my friends, I have probably like I I, I can fucking list like a huge list. Uh, yeah. I probably have uh, maybe friends that have died in the last maybe six years because of drugs, Literally, from getting the hard stuff to like you know, from heroin to cocaine to just overdoing it, yeah, like, mixing I drugs. Well, if it makes you feel any, but <laughs> not that it would make you feel any better, but I definitely can relate. I think I can count more than probably 10 people, name by name, oh, yeah. that have passed away in the last maybe five years, 10 years. Not oh, even 10, yeah. like five years. Oh, honestly, yeah. like within five years here, I'd say. Guaranteed. I've got pictures of people holding my son, like when he was born, and like they're, they're gone. They're just not they're, here. They're gone. Yeah. They're, they're all gone. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's fucking scary. Yeah, yeah. that's not a. Anyways, so yeah, so anyways, what happened was, so I found out about this yesterday, right? I talked to Steve, and he was all fucking upset, crying and shit. And then uh, he just said, yeah, bro, blah, 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 like, you know, he's gone. And I'm like, no, like, fuck. Off. Like, I could just tell in his voice something was really bad. And then, like, yeah, he's like, I was going to I was gonna tell you about the funeral, but I just, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I know his mom, his dad, and I'm like, yeah, I know the whole family. Like, why the fuck wasn't I invited? Like, how the fuck did I not yeah. hear about this before, you know? But anyways, it is what it is, and you know what? I've been using my work phone, like, sub like substantially, like, crazy. Uh, I don't even bother with my personal phone. And uh, I went to go turn on my personal phone today, right? No, so yeah, all this stuff. Had, like, uh, 16 missed phone calls from Getsby, fucking 20 from Charles. Uh, you know what I like, it, it was, I, I, fuck, I felt like a piece of shit. 100% just felt like a goof. Like, wow. Messages, voicemails. I listened to the voicemail like of Debbie crying. I didn't delete it yet, but like, fuck, it's just so like gut wrenching. Fuck. And you know what? I, I, I barely. Know. Yeah, no, it's not. It, and the thing, the cool, the, the funny thing about this is I built like, uh, well, I didn't build it. I like, uh, I took all the rotten wood out of their deck, put fresh wood in there. Like maybe I don't know. Like when when Tyson was like 17, like when he was young. And uh, anyways, like just basically kind of in there, like the sort of like uh, handyman, like the cer certain stuff that uh, Charles can do. Anyways, so yeah, so they kind of, I don't know, like, they always send me a fucking Christmas card. They always say happy birthday. They always like, you know, from now and then call me, invite me over for dinner and stuff like that. It was one of those like, uh, like one of those people you meet that are just like really solid. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, you know, like, and the funny thing is, is like, I, I, I never picked up my phone once or like ever even made an effort to call them or keep in touch. It was always them. <laughs> yeah. So, whatever. And the kid had a fucking dude. Buddy had a 1989 uh, BMW 320i, I think, convertible. 
Crazy. Like, like fully, like, and he got it. It was like ugly as shit, and he like, you know, spent his money throughout the years restoring it. Dude, the thing is mint. You should see this thing. God bless your soul, but yeah, it's too bad. Like, you shouldn't be doing fucking cocaine and doing lean at the same time. I'm sorry to tell you that, buddy. But, <clears throat> yeah. You know, I kind of, I don't have like, I have a like a short tolerance for people who do stupid shit, and and then this is what happens. You know, it's unfortunate, but you know, uh, life is uh, life is very short, and I wouldn't, you know. Yeah. Pretty sure he knows not to not mix the both, but you know everybody thinks they're a fucking they're untouchable when they're on drugs or whatever they can For sure. Be, you know. Well, so. and the other thing is like there's no real like actual lean. Well, yeah, in no, Canada. Yeah. You know, yeah, no, it's literally it's, it's not, like pop syrup it's, and like no, it's fucking stupid it's garbage. Fentanyl. Yeah, you, so fentanyl. there you go. You like, just said it yourself. Like. <laughs> so basically, like drink. And my one of my buddies who I went to high school with. Who I, I like always thought he'd be like a famous rapper. Uh, like, literally, he passed away from doing uh, Xanax. Yeah, no, it was a Percocet. It was okay. a Percocet, actually. My point exactly. He, but he was also known for like, I don't know, selling drugs, doing drugs. And, like, yeah, but just I don't know, he had fucked up stories. But, like, like, oh yeah, he did a fucking coffee pot and fucking drugs. I just, I don't think the story is like 100% like in the truth of like oh, what happened to him. Cause like I yeah. feel like maybe someone like gave him exactly that to like get rid of him. Well, put it yeah. this way, people can shoot like, go things with a pond, you know, like what happens. Like, uh, like, yeah, I'll tell you a story in a second, but you keep going. But people yeah, have a way of doing things that can, uh, you know, yeah, it's like all funny set him up. until something they just, goes like, sour. Yeah, exactly. Like he had, but he's the type of guy who, like, I'm sure he had like a lot of really good connections, but I'm sure he had like maybe one or two bad connections, and I'm sure they didn't like. They're not just Yo, like man. small that time like guys. Like he's like talking to like big, huge, oh, yeah. like huge hustlers, like <laughs> just, and like boys. literally talking just like yeah, talking to the boys, and like all of a sudden he's just like dead in his car, passed yeah. out. And, yeah, like, and there's only one story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and there's only one story is that he's just oh, yeah. found there <clears throat> overdosed. He tri overdosed with nothing. Yeah. And he's oh, the type yeah. of guy who always has everything. So someone like oh, yeah. him, took it oh, and my said, God. see ya, senor. I've got three friends. I've got three friends where I could literally tell you that he was like set up more or less. Like like literally like my friend my friend literally. Devin, he never never did Octopus in his life. He never would touch it, never would do anything. He was a hustler, he sold dope, did all that stuff. So, like he sold like, you know, uppers and downers and all that stuff, but he did didn't dabble in anything except for well. You know what I mean? And like, there's yeah. no fucking way you would ever, ever hear a story where Devin did a fucking pill, even if it was an aspirin. No fucking yeah. way. Anyways, he's folded in his fucking in his office, like, or not his office, just where he played, you know, where he hung out, his little like chill room, whatever yeah, the fuck area. Going. Whatever, he, wherever. His area. He's yeah, they found him folded there, and they said it was because he, uh, his system showed, uh, I don't know what, 90 mils over, like, like so some some amount of oxycontin or whatever, right? And like yeah. even even yeah. even the parents knew that that was bullshit because like uh, like he doesn't Devin do pills. Parents, yeah. yeah, someone Devin, set him up. Yeah, they were 100%. so funny. They were so fucking dialed into each other that like again, like I told you, he it just it didn't add up. It wouldn't make sense. sense. But, no, it didn't add up at all. The other thing is that the RCMP isn't allowed to search uh, a person's home if they're if they have passed away of a drug overdose. Yeah, I know that's true. Yeah, hundred percent. So, like, what they can rule out, that's it. It's only what they can rule out. So yeah, sad, like, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of factors that, like, I'm sure his father or his mother had to, like, find in his room. Like, I'm sure they found, like, some no, sort so of shit. Dad, and, like, no, listen, so his dad found a fucking, uh, a thing of tinfoil, okay? Yeah, yeah. A tin foil, and it had a washed up shit. So apparently, sorry, let me rephrase all this, so that oxycontin that he took was, uh,
other good buddy, Willy, which was another, like, acquaintance of mine. Great guy. Uh, he would never touch a fucking fly uh, and or do drugs. And uh, Charles, Charles wanted to kill him because he drove uh, Devin to the health party that night. Yeah. He just wanted to kill him. He wanted to rip him. Uh, like when I went to go get the stuff and talk to him, I mean, I'm gonna stop talking about the sad shit. Bro, like drugs, and then and, like, I don't know, man. It doesn't, it doesn't help you very early. Anyway. Uh, yeah, and people, like I said, people do it because it hurts a lot. I don't know what it is. Okay, I got you there. Every gun, three guns. Oh, my God. Okay, that's not. Fuck, I almost was like, damn, bruh. I was like, sorry. Oh, Fuck you, dog. Fuck this my scoop. Fuck out of here. I really wish my controller was working out. I mean, this guy right here, my shit's just going cock. Fuck, I'm out. Get out of here. This guy just almost kami hod me. I'm still trying Not to get a fucking door This guy just tagged my shields hard. Yeah, dude, if you guys know anyone, fucking even uh, Josh, oh, you can fuck any, anybody with, uh, oh, who's calling me? With what? Hold on, I'll be right back. I was thinking he was gonna say a controller. Well, you can fix the one he's got. It's just uh, Phillips screws in the back. Q-tip, a little alcohol. Clean it up. Put it back together. Just gotta be careful about the rhythm. My rhythm goes. After like the pump stop on the Xbox controller or the Switch? No, I got a PS4. Okay. I mean, they're all fixable, just the same. Footsteps on me. I know the new controllers should be definitely easier if you're clean and made for it. Truck just kept going through his builds. That purple fucking chunk. I'm maxed out on everything. Are you? Ammo and mats. There's a lot of uh, heals mats, over there. Ammo. Use this. Use this chug gun if you need. Hold on, I'm in the fucking. It's marking the SMG, but I'm meant to mark the other. Shots up ahead. Up there. There's some shields here. Three minis and 150. Why are my I'm going rogue, boys. I'll be back. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do some. Oh, day. Day. I'm going rogue, bro. I'm winning the shit. <laughs> that was nuts, dude. Right on, boys. Woo! That was sick. Hold on one sec, Good I got match. something. My dad's calling me. Hold on. I'll be right back. Ready up though, don't forget. A lot of dolphin noises over all the swear words, but you know, we'll fix that later. <laughs> <laughs> GG's. GG.